Within the last half hour, the Keller ISD School Board approved a policy change that would allow some employees to carry firearms on school campuses. Fox News David Centendry live in Keller with the update. David. Yeah, Clarice, the Board of Trustees says this was a direct response to the tragic Uvalde School shooting that we saw earlier this year. They were taking actions to re-examine some of their safety protocols, as are a number of other school districts, not just here in Texas, but throughout the rest of the country. So they're changing district policy, as you just mentioned, to, quote, allow for employees who volunteer and meet certain criteria to carry firearms on campus. A key word there is volunteer. This is not a conversation about arming all teachers and staff, just those who volunteer and meet certain requirements. The district will now decide what sort of specific plan it will use. Tonight was strictly a policy change. So the most talked about plan is the state of Texas's Guardian program, which is already implemented in more than 200 Texas school districts. Some trustees here tonight in favor of the policy change say it provides proper training and operates under an anonymity. They like that because the meaning is that only school leaders, not the general public, will know who's caring as to not tip off any potential shooter. How do you not give somebody the opportunity to protect your kids in the heat of a moment when all you would like to do is pick them up and run? In the heat of a moment when all you can do is sit and hide and hope that you're not next. But you can't tell me that even if you had the best person and they did all of the training, and they were supposedly the poster child for this, there might be a day that they fall. Concerns, like some from the Board of Trustee member you just heard from, include the safety of the plan and whether armed employees would step up in an active shooter situation. Now, there's all sorts of emotion and tension in this room tonight. The meeting just wrapped up a few moments ago, but dozens of parents and even some students spoke on both sides of this debate. The horror of what happened in Uvalde is really the best example right now why such policy is needed here. How many kids do you know that want to spend hours at a board meeting? The answer should be not many, but we're here. We're here because we're terrified. Students don't want guns in the classroom. Now, a community survey was sent out on this issue a while back, and about 35,000 people in the community received it, and a majority of people who responded were against this policy change, but it's very important to point out that out of those 35,000 people who it was sent to, only about 9% responded to that survey, according to some of the Board of Trustee members here tonight. Again, this is a policy change. It is effective immediately. They will look at different ways they could implement certain specific plans moving forward. The vote tonight was seven to three, or sorry, four to three. Clarice, back to you.